Michael Brown, the young man killed by a police officer in Ferguson, Missouri. This has become a story that's now transcended sports. Andrew, I'm going to go back to you. Do you think we'll see more tributes like this as the violence and the protests continue in Ferguson? Yeah, this is an interesting one, Maggie, because I think the business of football, which I cover, is so many players for so few jobs. And you really sort of have to have a little cachet uh, to be able to make a stand. If you're someone kind of on the fence, and I know we talked about this with Michael Sam, coaches and, and front office execs just want you to sort of be nameless, faceless, anonymous, down-the-line guys at the bottom of the roster. But if you have some juice, I guess, some cachet in the locker room, I think these protests are, are, can galvanize a team, can really get people behind something, almost the way LeBron did with Trevon Martin last year. So I have no problem with it, and I think front offices are fine with it, as long as it doesn't spill over to any dissension within the team. Ben? Right, I think right. we're a long way from Michael Jordan's famous quote, Republicans buy Nike too, right? These, these, it used to be that even stars tried to avoid these sort of political situations. I frankly think that, as Andrew mentioned, LeBron's stance during the Trayvon Martin uh, situation freed at least the star level players to express themselves politically. You know, I, 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 I can only think it's a good thing. And I think it's really up to the league stars who don't have their careers on the line to continue to make those stands. Chris, I'll get your thoughts on this as well. Do you think we're going to see more tributes as the season continues? Yeah, I'm sure that we will. And we've, we've already heard that the Rams have offered tickets, uh, game tickets to the high school, the local teams there in Ferguson. I, I think that sort of thing, too, pushes it a little further into the limelight, a little further into, as as Ben and Andrew were saying, you know, having sort of that that lead, someone lead the way into paying tribute to the, the people there and and I think the more that you see it in the collective conscience of the NFL, the more that players will get behind it and, and feel it's okay and go ahead and go ahead and do it. Hit me. Hey there, SI fans. I hope you enjoyed this clip from our daily live show, SI Now. You can find a link to the complete episode in the description box below. And while you're there, make sure you subscribe to Sports Illustrated's YouTube channel. Remember, you can watch SI Now Monday through Friday live at 1 p.m. Eastern time only on SI.com. All right, go along. You ready? Hope to see you there.